Hello people of the web and welcome back to another episode from the Vanilla High server. This is becoming a bit of a theme it seems, although while I am enchanting yet another piece of armour with god tier enchantments, I actually came here to repair my pick. I've been digging, in fact I'm going to finish this helmet with its last enchantment and then I'll start recording to show you what I'm working on. The best way to show you what I've been up to is to head to the Skybase, so uh, let's go through. Right. Now if we jump off from here, we can fly to the area I've been digging. Now you may remember that with this being an amplified biome on this server, all of this was hills to start with. Um, I say hills, mountains, that went to uh, the sky limit. We got as far as this point, and uh, all of this was still mantidus. In fact, quite a lot of it went up to that height. But I've been chipping away at it, and uh, we're getting to a, a reasonable bit of landscaping that I'm happy with. I just need to finish this spot here, and uh, change it to grass. And then I'll have space for my next build. Hmm, I just finished recording that clip in time. I've done a tiny bit more digging, and uh, I think I'm finished. At least with the uh, shape of the land, I'm happy with this. All it needs now is all of this stone to be ripped out and replaced with dirt. Which won't take that long if I get some help. Um, I'm hoping Hushbug will be online soon. And uh, after she helps me with that, she's got this little section here that she's kindly agreed to remove which is everything from this point to the little trench over there. So we can uh, have a nice little path going to the cactus farm. But that's Hushbug's job. My job is that side of the stone storage. With all the digging and knowing that this is full, I've just been offloading my stone into these chests, which I will continue to do. And uh, all the dirt blocks went in here, which is quite handy, because that's what I need now. So uh, Hushbug came online and she's working on her bit. And uh, as you can see, the grass is spreading quite nicely. Have a look from up here. Yeah, won't take long till that takes over. Now I actually have the plan of building something over here, which we'll get to in a bit. But first, let's talk about these villagers that you may or may not remember live underneath this little hill um, if I can remember the in where to get in ha now with all these villagers being down here what I initially thought when we updated 1.14 was that they all need beds however they don't actually all need beds they just need crafting stations so that they can reset so by making the effort to build all these workstations um, they should all be able to refresh. And uh, if I remember correctly, there's a couple that take string. It's nice when it's raining. Uh, rotten flesh. A couple of shulkers of that, that'd be nice. And string. Although I doubt I'll be able to offload that much of it. But I well, might as well grab it and try. We'll have to come up here to put the uh, leftovers away anyway, so see how many emeralds we can get. Now the emeralds are uh, something we've been lacking lately. Uh, excuse me. Well, that's slightly rude. Okay, I'll go the other way. As I was saying, we've been lacking emeralds because I spent so many on protection books. So if I can recoup some of them with string and rotten flesh, that would be fantastic. What? Fletchers buy sticks. I did not know that was a thing. That might become useful once the witch farm's back up and running. After a bit of trading, I've managed to clear out uh, two, maybe three shulkers. Right, so one, two full shulkers, and most of that one, and most of that one, and I'm up what, four and a bit stacks of emeralds, so this was definitely worth doing. 
Now, obviously, I'll try and do some more in the future because uh, we have far too many shulkers of stuff like string and rotten flesh. So we want to get rid of that and uh, regain some of our shulkers. That was a good thing to do. I'm going to take this stuff back up there and because it stopped raining, I'll go the boring way. I miss my riptide already. As you can see, uh, Hushbug's been busy and dug down all that area that she very kindly offered to do. Now, my job is uh, going to be to do a bit of contouring over here so this landscape doesn't look so square and unnatural. And then, uh, once I've done that, Hushbug, well, if, she, if I ask her very nicely, she might change this stone out to be some dirt so the grass can spread and uh, work on the path going to the cactus farm. While we were digging, a uh, thunderstorm started, which reminds me, I want to try something out, uh, which involves using this, although it does have impaling, which worries me slightly. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah, the impaling's not a good thing, is it? While I was supposed to be building something on the island, I've allowed myself to get distracted, um, we need emeralds, and so I figured farmers are a good way of getting emeralds. Um, we just need loads of stuff to trade them, which brought me here. So I can get loads of stuff like beetroot, carrots, potatoes and wheat. One thing we produce quite a lot of is beetroot seeds. Um, that's all the beetroot I've made, and uh, I started with about half a stack of seeds, so... Uh, yeah, I need to get rid of them. And what's worse is that I can't just throw them into this chest because there's no filter that allows beetroot seeds through. So I've got to do it the manual way. As exciting as it's been, sitting there creating beetroot, um, I've been invited to go have a look at someone's base. And so I thought, well... While I don't want to miss out on this fun, I could do with a break. So uh, I'm heading over there to uh, Shadow Babe's base. She said she could do with some bones. So uh, I'm going to pop to our base first and pick up a couple of shulkers. Hopefully that'll be enough for her. Shadow Babe was kind enough to give me a tour of her base. She has a lovely build style with a particular knack of doing details. This can be seen all over the base, and there are several build ideas that I've walked away with. In no particular order, I wanted to show some of the details that I think work fantastically, such as how a loom looks just like empty bookshelves. The 1.14 dead bushes make perfect small trees when combined with a flower pot and some leaves. This combination of flowers works just perfectly, and I now know how to make a very realistic wheelbarrow. It's a fantastic base, and Shadow Babe was a wonderful host that I enjoyed chatting to whilst she gave me the tour. Now we're back at the base, we can work on that build that I was talking about doing. First off though, I had best go to the storage and pick up my supplies. Oh, I suppose I should actually mention what I'm planning on building. Um, we have a slight issue uh, in that we have some floating mycelium with some horses on it, which looks a bit untidy, so uh, I need to build them a home. The barn design is actually a nostalgic build for me, and I'm copying it from a YouTube video. But not just any YouTube video, one of mine. This is actually a duplicate of a build I did a few years ago on my Xbox World. And when I decided that I needed somewhere to keep the horses, I thought it would be a very fitting way to bring back this build. And that's the outside done. The only difference from the original so far is that I've added an oak trim to the roof. It was quite interesting finding the time to look at an old video. It's clear that I've progressed slightly since then, although I can't help but wonder whether in a few years time I'll watch this video and think how I've improved and how rubbish I was when I made this. I hope these are okay videos. 
It's a little bit dark in here. I think I need to add some lights, uh, change up the flooring, because let's face it, horses don't tend to have grass in their barns. Uh, and fences to keep the horses in, that would be sensible. Now these certainly weren't in the barn previously. Um, where should we put them? One of each. Yeah, why not? That looks about right and it spreads the light out nicely. There. Apart from needing some coarse around the entrance so the grass doesn't spread in, I'd like to have a bit of a mix between coarse dirt and regular dirt. And I might try and put some grass blocks in, but I've got to be careful not to put them close to uh, any regular dirt because we don't want it to spread. Yeah, that gives it a nice bit of texture. And some nincompoops put stuff in the way of where I... Oops. And just placing some decorative cauldrons and hay bales. Making sure not to put them next to the fence. I've learnt that lesson the hard way. Yeah. Now I just need to work out how I'm going to get those horses down. This would be a very good form of sleeping. One secure, three to go, I think. Yay, no more floating land. And horses tucked away safely in the barn. Of which we could do with some more uh, healthy horses. These ones look like they haven't been fed. On the last map, we had a uh, skeleton horse that I named Indiana Bones, which I thought was fantastic. Um, he did disappear, so uh, this time I want some different names. We've got Tom Bones, the well-known singer. Uh, Terry Bones, who's a comedian in Monty Python. Uh, Quincy Bones, a composer and musician. And Felicity Bones, who I th the last film I saw her in was uh, Theory of Everything. I'm sure her name was Felicity Bones. It might have been Jones, but uh, close enough. When I built this barn on the Xbox world, I actually put something in the attic, which was mostly a bedroom and some storage, and I kind of moved in. Um, however, I don't really want to do that here, so I'm going to see if I can fit a micro farm up here at some point. Just because then we've got one close to home, rather than having to go all the way to the witch farm. I just spotted another skeleton horse on the hill, and uh, while I'm tempted to see if I can fill out the rest of the barn. Um, I don't think we really need another skeleton horse. And it might be a trap one. Oh no. It's safe. Ooh, Hashbug's done the path, or at least started. I, I can see there's a few block, uh, block types that aren't there, I think. See, because this looks like it's got some spacing for something else. Oh, um, path blocks. I knew there was something missing. But it looks good. And now we can see the cactus farm. Um, I did try a different design. However, it wasn't working. So uh, I, after fiddling around with it for a while, I gave up and uh, started again. In theory... Uh. Yep, that works. I have one addition that I'd like to make, and that's that the dispensers on top don't hold a lot of bone meal, so uh, some chests to back them up would probably be a good idea. Now, in theory, by placing these two double chests on either side, we can feed four of the uh, dispensers. Unfortunately, there are five dispensers, um, so that one in the middle needs bone meal added directly to it because I can't feed a hopper in from any of the sides as there is uh, rails in the way. Although the farm should run perfectly fine 
with just four dispensers so even if that one does run out and I forget to top it up it should be good enough and also means that I've got some double chests that I can offload all of my bone meal into now equipped with the uh, last two shulkers of bones I should be able to offload them into the barn and uh, get two more empty shulkers to put back in storage now what are the chances of next week me realizing we haven't got enough bones and I've given away too many hope that doesn't happen but it's a possibility all stocked up now I might have a few bones left in my inventory however these two shulkers are now empty and so now I just need to get rid of what 13 stacks of bones which I'm pretty sure I can fit in the storage without having to use up any shulkers plus I can do with topping up the flower farm There, I can fit a few more in there. And now that's all stocked up nicely. And no, we haven't been using the flower farm a lot. Um, very rarely do I need to use it. Only when someone wants a particular dye colour. However, whenever I need bone meal, I tend to just grab it out of the chest rather than uh, get it from the storage. Now the other thing that I want to do in the barn is uh, have something to do with all those seeds if I do beetroot or uh, wheat so the sensible thing would be to put something on this wall and I think that'll do that gives me somewhere to put my seeds and uh, vegetables that grow uh, potatoes beetroot seeds that's what I forgot and uh, somewhere that I can offload all my inventory in for when I'm working on the machine and need to move carrots seeing as I'm here anyway and uh, we have filled up with bone meal and I have carrots in my inventory it'd be a shame not to use the machine not only was I successful in using the machine and filling up a shulker of potatoes and a shulker of carrots um, I no longer have any bones left because uh, I managed to offload them all now I know exactly what I need to do with these and if you can't tell by now Yep, I'll do some trading. I need to try and recoup some of the emeralds. I've traded an entire shulker of carrots and potatoes and gained just over two stacks of emeralds. That was certainly worth doing. Is that a skeleton horse? With a skeleton on it? Yes, I got that. That's quite distracting. It is? This is always funny, because watch. You can't hit me. But they do move quickly. Right. Enough of that distraction. Also, while I was uh, trading, we gained a couple villagers, which means if I head down to the wool farm, we should have some new villagers that I can uh, see what trades I get from. Yep, oh, we got... Is that three? Um... I'm not going to let them out because this isn't closed off. But I'll do that in my own time. I'm very pleased with the expansion we've made on the island, and it's been nice to be working near the base. We've managed to get rid of a lot of mycelium, house our horses, gain some emeralds, and build a very useful nano farm. There were some time consuming tasks this week. Cutting down the mountains can be quite boring, which made my trip to Shadow Bay's base a welcome break. Not only did I get to enjoy her company, but I now have a few build ideas I will certainly borrow from in the future. If you enjoyed seeing her build too, please make an effort to let her know. I'm going to end the video here. As always, comments and likes are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.